actually the message we have here is actually to the uh, His Excellency the President of the Republic of Kenya and uh, my colleague has just explained why we are here and I can assure you we would have loved to be even with others in Mombasa but if our people are suffering when we are here you guys you know people have lost life when we are here you know very well children are in their homes they have not gone to school this is uh, the things, uh, these are the things that are eating our people on a daily basis. We are appealing to other colleagues who are not with us here. Probably they were here maybe a week ago. It's not a competition. We need to complement each other. We don't want these cases of frustration. You come, you want to listen to the farmers, others inciting the farmers. That way we will not achieve what we want as the people of Mulembe. We want people to pull in one direction. And we are telling our colleagues on the other side, whether you have different views, what we need to agree on is a common Mwanainji of this region, is the common farmer of this region. I come from an area where farmers actually, or majority of them, three quarters of my people depend on sugarcane farming. Right now, they are suffering. Every day I'm doing fundraising for school fees. Every day I'm doing fundraising for hospital bills. And these are the things that they could settle on their own when the factories were up and running. We are appealing to the management of uh, the factory. You are not under any instructions to frustrate anybody who wants to give a solution to the problems that are affecting our people. Correct. We want proper coordination. We want all elected leaders. We want even other stakeholders to join us. Because basically why we are here is to get the real farmer to address even the president himself. Right now as we speak, members of parliament from that region have joined the PPI work on in Mombasa. And because their people are okay, we would have loved all of us to be there. But our farmers are crying. So we need to retreat and have a common message to the, His Excellency. And Your Excellency, uh, these people voted for you. Uh, Your Excellency, these people love you. Your Excellency, these people support even the uh, Big Four agenda that you want to achieve. <coughs> your Excellency, these people want even to enjoy your leadership. There are people who did not even stand with you. But right now, probably they are benefiting more than us. And that is the concern of our people. Mm. We are appealing to you, Your Excellency, that you will have wisdom. In your own wisdom, actually find space in your heart <coughs> that you can have a session with leaders of this region the way you did one at Sakana. If we can have it in Nzoya here, if we can have it in Mumias, we would love to air our views to you so that you listen to what our people are going through. And I'm sure, Your Excellency, if you come here, you realize this is one region that is so united behind you. But there are people who feel they are more closer to you than us, who would want to um, maybe deliver a message in a sense that uh, some leaders are not with you. We want to give you assurance from the ground that, Your Excellency, we support your agenda. Your Excellency, we support your government. But above all, we are crying because of the common Mwanainji. We would love to hear from you, address our people, listen to them. And then from there, definitely we will work together towards uh, the remaining few years of uh, your term.